All right, everybody. So we are going to do procedure number six of the rocket car in SolidWorks. Um, and basically to summarize, this is doing the sketch on the bottom portion of the car. So uh, you want to make sure that you have done one, two, three, four, and five before you go to procedure number six. Um, if I pull up the uh, Google slide here on the bottom, the only thing you really, the main thing I should say that you really need to be concerned about is that you keep your car thicker than 0.375 inches through here, just to, have, to give it durability so that if you drop it, it doesn't break, that sort of thing. Um, out of all the sketches, this is probably the easiest one, uh, but not to say that there's nowhere that you can go wrong on it, right? So to get started from salt, and obviously my remote learners, you're going to have to log into class link and uh, into the remote app server, enable Google Drive file stream, and then open SolidWorks from the remote app server. For us, we're running it natively. So I'm going to browse out to file open. And I'm going to go to the Google Drive file stream and my drive and classroom. And I'm also going to browse to here because I know in this rocket car folder, I have procedure number five. All right, procedure number five, when you get to this point, hopefully, if it loads on my computer here today, um, hopefully you should have, you know, one through five done and you don't have any thickness issues, anything along those lines. Hopefully this thing's going to open here. There we go. All right. So just before I go ahead and draw this, I want to point out you're allowed a total of six sketches. Right now you can see I have one, two, three, four, five. Yours should be in the order that mine are in too. So your first sketch was the block. The second one was the chamber that we put on the back. The third one should be the axles. The fourth one should be this side sketch. The fifth one should be the back. And the sixth and final sketch should be the bottom. The thing that I write, like to recommend about this is make it see-through so that you can see through it. This is the chamber right here that you see. You can actually see it right here. All right, we want to stay away from that. Um, we want to basically make sure that we're not cutting into that too much because even though, even though the sketch is just on the bottom, remember, this sketch is going to cut up towards the top, which would be away from where you're, you're looking at it right now, like into the computer in that way. And we want to also make sure that what we draw is symmetrical. So we're just going to draw something on one side and then we will mirror it about our center line that we're going to put in the center. And let, let's just start there. Let's go to sketch. Let's go to the center line. We'll click on this plane and we'll find our midpoint and just draw ourselves a center line that we know is horizontal. It's going to try and follow us around. Just hit escape. When we zoom in, you see that this is a dashed line. Okay. Very, very important that we have that. Um, I like to use curves on the bottom. Uh, whatever you can pretty much do whatever you want just don't use a straight line like don't do this this is a non-example don't do something like this and box it in because to be really honest with you that's a really hard thing to cut with a cnc machine with a with an angle like this a curve is much easier to do and honestly if we ever get to the point where we can sand these and finish these trying to sand what you have there is is not going to be fun so I'm just going to go to trim entities. I'm going to draw a line through all those and get rid of all that. And here we go. I like to use three point arcs. And I'll start over in here somewhere. And I usually end over in here somewhere. I like to do something along those lines. And I will play around with the, the measurements a little bit. I like to, these all have to be boxed in. This is what I mean by boxing it in. So that you could essentially fill this up. If this was a container, you could fill it up with water and nothing would leak out of it. So you could do something along those lines. Um, you can, you could do something along these lines. There's nothing stopping you from going, well, I want to have it be a little curvy like that. And of course, boxing it in. All right, so let, let's just go with that. Let's see what we come up with. 
I want to get this onto the other side, and that would be really tricky to draw from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mirror Entities, and the entities that I want to mirror are all of these. Let me show you a shortcut. Rather than clicking each individual one, and draw a box around these, and they all fill in here, and I'm going to mirror it about my center line, and there it is. All right, now. Um, um, before I start any of this, so I don't have any thickness issues, I'm curious how far these are apart. 0. 0.452, so that, that's pretty good. I might even be able to make that a little smaller. Let me just make it 0. 0.45. Um, I'm curious where I'm at between these two from here to here. Remember, you got to be greater than 0. 0.375, so I may actually be in decent shape here. I'm just going to do 0. 0.41, so I don't have a bunch of decimals. Um, I could probably dimension from here to here. Let me pull that down a little bit because the goal is to make it as skinny as possible. So you make it as light as possible. The problem is, see what it does right there. So let me undo that. That's definitely going to give me a thickness issue there. Let me try it at 0.6. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. So I'm going to check this. I'm going to go to features. I'm going to go to extruded cut and through all. And the only way that I'm going to know for sure whether I have any thickness issues there is if I actually run thickness analysis on it. So if I go back to evaluate and thickness analysis, the number in question is 0.375. Let me do 0.375 and calculate. I'm, I'm a little concerned about right in here. Yep, for good reason. I'm too thin right here. That's what this color is all about. So I'm about 0.36, not the end of the world, not a deal breaker, and actually really good for this example. So I'm just going to go down to this sketch. I'll open it up and right click. I'm going to edit the sketch. And I know that this was my culprit. This is what caused me some issues. I could potentially make this a little wider here, but let me go 0.67. Exit that. I'm going to go back in here to thickness analysis and calculate it. I have a better feeling about this one. So let's see what we have. Yes, I'm good. All right. So notice there's color here. That's all 0.14 around the chamber. I'm all good. All right. So at this point, um, the only thing I have to do for this step is to go to file, to go to save as. I'm going to browse out to Look, I'm in Google Drive file stream in the Rocket Car folder. Same spot where I'm saving everything else. I'm going to save it as first name, last name, procedure number six. And I, of course, am going to go back to, where is it? Go back to here and into this assignment, which is not live yet at this point. And I am going to turn it in through Google Classroom. So um, that's pretty much it for uh, the the drawing portion of our SOLIDWORKS assignment. Um, from here, uh, we're going to need to just go back in and make sure we don't have any thickness issues, and we will proceed on to procedure number seven, which is pretty short and sweet.